y'all are we we're on what's up girlfriends welcome to big girlfriends if you're new here welcome to the corner girl before we get started on this video as you saw by the title this is a get ready with me so watch me go from this to this yes girl we're gonna be doing that today so if you're interested keep on watching this video but before we do let's do the intro me from the start by the way you stared the way you wrote upon me yeah yeah man i felt your energy wasn't used to all right welcome back welcome back girl so before we get started on this video make sure you like okay make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that little bell notification so you can be notified when i post a video so, like I said, this is a get ready with me video. And you guys saw that I am going to be, oh my goodness, I am going to be getting ready. <laughs> like, that's what I'm thinking about to be doing. So, I've already like cleaned and moisturized my face. And as you can see, I suffer from dark spots and I'm a picker. But um, I've been really trying to not pick and you can see i'm starting to get like bumps here because that time of the month is coming on saturday today is wednesday but as you can see my dark spots are lining up okay and yeah girl they're lining up but it's just it's just at this point it's just like, okay so um i'm gonna be using the these ghost nail <clears throat> what ghost nail let's go what these ghost nail hydrogel eye patches they're moisturizing and nutritional and girls you can see i need them while i am finishing my little skin so i'm gonna place these on for like 10 or 15 minutes while i finish prepping my skin for foundation I tore a hole in one of them really bad, actually my right one, so yeah girl, trying to move it, so anyway, so I'm going to be using this Chanel cream, I don't know, what's it for honestly, but I'm going to be using it on my face, I've been using it and it's been doing pretty good on my skin, so we're going to be using it today, oh hold on, I forgot one thing, Thank you. So I like to put a little bit, like when I'm having like some inflammation, okay, I'm not a esthetician or anything, but I like to, cause like I have to for some odd reason because I have any breakouts, but I like to put hydrocortisone on my skin because it helps it not have so many bumps during my time in the month time and then also it just helps with what's open like this little sore here it helps it heal faster so hydrocortisone for the win then I'm gonna take this cream and put it on and I'm not really focused on the under eye because girl Look at her, I don't get it on my bonnet. I just washed this bonnet. I'm trying to see what's on my sleep. So now I'm gonna be using this little Clinique Moisture Surge. Rob Spectrum has an SPF of 28. It's for all skin types. It's 100% fragrance free. I just started using it and it's only like a little bitty sample box, but wow, how would you know something like if you don't sample it, girl? So we're gonna be sampling this. We're gonna be putting this on and everything. Beforehand, I've been using, what's that? Um, Is it Avino? I think it's Avino. No, no, no. I think it's Neutrogena. 
and it has SPF. Like since I've gotten older, I realized that sunscreen is really super duper important and also like retinol at nighttime. It's super duper important. Like your girl about to be 33 this month, so I gotta, even though I suffer from these dark spots and they're slowly, slowly peeling, I gotta keep this skin right. So while this dries into the skin, we are going to be searching for our primer girl to prime the face. Now I've been loving the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. They gave me a sample girl at Ulta of the, um, is it Neosonamide um, e.l.f. Primer? And you can see I've been using it like, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, the instruction says use fingertips to apply and pat it to the skin and allow it to set for 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is just that. And I like to put my primer all over my eyelids and everywhere. I do have some eyelid primer, but I never use it. Maybe I should use it today. <clears throat> so prime, prime, prime. So y'all, I did clean my skin. I don't know if I said that, I probably did. But I did clean my skin. So I'm just putting on my last things that could be done when I'm sitting down. Instead of like over the, you know, bathroom sink. It says pet dry, but I love everything. It's probably a little wrong. Now, use some hand sanitizer. I keep hand sanitizer on deck. Oh, I'm still trying to wake myself up. I'm physically here, mentally in bed. Oh, I was gonna use this serum, but it's too late. It's a good molecules, um, hyaluronic acid serum, but it's too late to use that. So, it's the primer dries. These are almost dry as well. Just gonna make sure they're rubbing really, really nicely. We're gonna be concealing some of these very 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 seen dark spots with some orange corrector you can use whatever orange corrector you got but baby girl i'm going to be using this la concealer affordable orange corrector and i'm not going to get every single dark spot that's on my face but i'm just going to get the ones that you that i feel like you can see under foundation if that makes sense i hope it does That one's really don't got much my light. Y'all, I had a big one, like under my chin. But look how much lighter it is. It takes forever for my skin to heal. I don't know. It's been like that since I was young. These are much lighter, so they're not gonna really show, honestly. So I'm not really worried about them. So we need to brush off the wall. I don't like to use a lot of this because it turns the foundation orange and I don't want my foundation orange. So I'm just gonna use this little angled brush. You can use whatever brush you have if you're like following along with me to do your makeup as I'm getting ready. Um, I'm not gonna name every, like this is not a tutorial, so I'm not gonna go through every single, like the name of the product and stuff like that. But if you guys want to know um, I'm not about to say, oh, if you like want to just follow along step by step, you definitely can. Um, but on my tutorial videos, um, if you like one more detail, I do have one up when I did, uh, well, like I did a client, so check it out. It will be, I'll put it in the description box below so you can see step by step of what I used on her. I did learn, however, in that last video, why is this light doing this? Hold on. All right, I did, however, learn that when I was doing her makeup, not to use yellow lighting. So, this is what the skin is looking like with the orange corrector. Now, you can see why it's really good to use orange corrector 
when you um, suffer from like dark spots and things like of that nature. Look how this snail serum leaves my under eye. So I just rub that serum in <clears throat> like so. And with the under eye, it's so fragile skin up under there. But you definitely don't want to just be like, you know what I'm saying? But you definitely want to get up under there. I'm going to use the same primer. Same primer. Just patting it up under the eye. Boom, boom, boom. And as I'm patting it up under the arm, I am allowing the other primer to release on my face so it can start getting ready for some foundation. I think we're going to be mixing foundations together. So I had put up the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour um, Too Faced Foundation in Caramel. And then I put out the Juvia's Place Foundation in 345. I'm just going to say 345 because... I don't know how to say the name, but it's their newer foundations. One of their newer foundations. So I know this foundation will be a little lighter, but I have not been liking one of my foundations that I've been using, and it's just been kind of mad dark, girl. Like it's just been uh, too chop. Um, I was about to say too chocolatey, but it's just wrong being chocolatey because I'm chocolatey. Like I'm milk chocolatey, or like. Uh, I would just say milk chocolate, but it's not the one being chocolate, but it's just my foundation was too chocolate, and I just didn't want to be that chocolate. That makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Okay, so I'm going to get a foundation brush. Hold on, it's on the wall. Mm -hmm. I got my foundation brush off the wall. I am using RT by Real Techniques, and their their brushes are bomb. So if you're just starting out in makeup. Try the brushes, girl. They are bomb.com. So, yes. I'm using this foundation brush to literally put foundation on. Mm, 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 mm. Put foundation on. I want to know, should I use this brush to blend out? You think it'll do good? I don't know. I really, really don't know. I don't know if I got my concealer. I'm over here trying to put on foundation. I don't even know if I got my concealer out. But it is what it is. So I'm just gonna brush this into the skin. I'm gonna need a sponge and a sink. Both of my foundation brushes are looking at me and they're not clean that I usually use, but that's okay. This foundation feels like mixed together, it feels nice. It doesn't feel heavy, but it feels like it's definitely on the skin. Like really good coverage. I like that. I like that. I like it. I'm avoiding my under eye because, girl, yes. Y'all basically just getting ready with me to, I don't think I even mentioned this, so let me tell y'all why y'all getting ready with me while I finish blending this out. So y'all basically getting ready with me to do videos. Like, y'all, I have not been consistent on making, like, really good content for y'all i'm not gonna lie like it's been <sighs> challenging and so me and my husband just had like a really good conversation which i really appreciate it and to be able to like kind of push myself to sit down and to record videos and i'm just not the type of person like y'all comment down below if you're this type of person like, maybe it's just me and i'm just weird but i'm a very private person and i stay to myself quite a bit 
um i am very content in my own self like in my own space with my family so it's really hard for me to just like come out of my shell and just be like you know i'm gonna record some content but since i'm like a business owner and i own a makeup beauty line i really need to have content or something so that you guys can be able to really see my products and see me like with my products and stuff and sometimes i'll be having all my products on because i wear my products every single day whether it's my my lashes or lip glosses or lipsticks whatever the case may be i wear literally if i'm wearing makeup i'm wearing it if i'm not wearing makeup i'm still wearing it my matter of fact my lips are dry and i'm gonna put on some tnt gloss but i said that to myself like hey Brittany you really gonna have to just buckle down and do what you're most afraid of doing and I'm still gonna have a lot of privacy but I do want to get better at creating more content and give you guys a little bit more of myself because I'm like who wants to buy anything from somebody that they don't even like know or not just know but just like always behind a wall <laughs> like they're always sitting behind a wall and you're saying like well I don't I don't know you you really haven't put yourself out there like that and that's the truth and I haven't so I said I'm gonna change it up I'm gonna give you guys consistent content I'm gonna make it every single week and I'm gonna make myself do it even on days I don't feel like it and I'm going to deliver you guys some content so today I'm not really going anywhere I am going somewhere in a few days on Friday so I will be recording a vloggy for you guys but yeah girl I just feel like I gotta I don't know I just woke up like hey Brie you gotta you gotta get on your on your stuff so that's what I'm doing so you guys are getting ready with me as I get myself together because I also struggle with like wanting to just keep myself together and keep myself, I don't know, just, I, I just like to be relaxed and chill and I feel like I'm more relaxed and chill when I have no makeup on, just chilling even though I love makeup. But I said I'm a makeup artist, so I really need to, you know, looked apart so i'm gonna step out of my comfort zone do this do these videos get myself like i need to be getting myself not looking crazy every single day i'm gonna be doing my hair and all that good stuff even if i don't wear makeup i can at least do my hair and so this is what led to this video today so y'all get ready with me as I about to start recording some content for today. And chit chat with y'all. I'm looking for something specific. Where is it? I don't see it. You know how you're looking for something and you feel like it's just right in your face? And you really feel like it there and then when you go use something different and then you find it that's how I feel right at this moment but we are doing creating that look that you just saw and we're gonna have it cute so we're gonna get cute today we're gonna get cute so if you guys are feeling like I am struggling girl don't struggle alone we can struggle together grab your brushes your makeup whatever the case may be get up out that bag come on and let's do this thing girl it's gonna be okay 
It's gonna be okay. Girl, I had just used this this um cream. Let's see. Using this cream. Just of these cheeks, y'all, because you're getting a little chubby. I'm gonna take this foundation brush down this nose. And I've always liked doing this right here. I don't know why, but I like doing it. So, yeah, girl. Y'all, I just went and got this. Well, not like went to the store. Y'all know I ain't go to no store that quick. But <laughs> I just went and got this Echo Tools brush on my purse because I always keep like a brush in my purse. And I have like a lot of Echo Tools brush, but I was looking for like two in specific. And I'm like, where's my Echo Tools brush? And it is like... I remember just using it kind of like the powder, some translucent powder. I was like, I need my Echo toothbrush. This brush, this, this, her. Okay, that's too close. I'm sorry, y'all. This baby. I get to kiss her. I get to kiss her. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this found what? I about to say foundation. Blend this concealer out. That's a really pretty thick concealer. It is. I see a piece of hair right here. Let me get a piece of hair. Look at it. Ooh, it's so creamy. I don't know. It's, I, I do feel better like once I get up and get myself together. I start feeling like a whole lot better. I don't feel as rubbish, you know, as down. I don't feel like I just literally got out of bed and didn't do anything. I started, I'm starting to feel like, no. Okay, that's too much, but you know. Mm. I hope this is not brush hairs that's coming on my skin onto this brush. I mean, on, off of this brush. Look at that. Ooh, y'all see that? See that blend? Y'all see that blend? Like that? Mmm. Mmm. It needs to blend like butter. That's how you know. That's how you know, girl. Like, when you can blend it like butter, when it blends like butter, it is. And it's all in the blend. It is all in the blending. And I just got rid of my contour. Y'all saw that? I do, yeah, but I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna use some powder to bring it back. Blend, blend, blend. You see that contour left? Yeah. It, it's really better to use two separate brushes, but I'm lazy today, so we're not gonna be doing that. Like, one to blend. What I mean by that is like one to blend the contour and one to blend the highlight. <laughs> but, but, mm mm. Mm mm. Mm -mm. We don't want that line. You see how that line needs to be on there? There should be no line. No line. No, no. It needs to be gone. It needs to be gone. Ooh, y'all. Using creams before powders is like the best. I'm telling like, this is important because I don't like my nose to be so harsh, but using cream before a powder. Because mm, mm, mm. sometimes you can use like just the contour powder and not the cream, but I promise you that contour cream will do it every time. Get these close to these brows because baby, they ain't. They ain't the gear then anyway, so it ain't gonna make no difference. Don't forget up under that chin. Why well, always be forgetting I'll be putting stuff up there? Then it dries down and it look like a fool. See how that looks like skin? 
It needs to look like your skin. It needs to look like your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this bronzer first because I'm gonna see if it's gonna pick up that dark, that dark brown. Cause I don't want it to be like too dark. I just want it to be kind of like subtle, you know? And what I feel like bronzer do, bronzer is more warm and I want to be more warm. I don't want to be cool because contour color is more cool tone and bronzer is more warm. Well, if you're interested in what I'm talking about, comment down below and I'll definitely be free. Feel free to answer any questions you may have. And it's just not being answered. I'll definitely, definitely do a video for you guys as well. But it's some of that bronzer that'll make me look. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it here. So let me get um, another brush. All right, so I got this little brush here. It's very long, elongated or long, and you see how it looks. Y'all, this right here, I feel like it, there's no words. I've been using this powder ever since one of my best friends, um, she know who she is, put me on this powder. Baby, I had asked her one day, it's been years, like, what was she using? And she was like, you need to try to fit me um, Maybelline powder. And you know what your girl did? I tried to fit me Maybelline powder. And I haven't went back since. And it is just, it's not a setting powder, it's a finishing powder. But baby, we we, we gonna use it as we like. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we gonna use it as we like. So, that's what we do. So everywhere that I highlight it at, or put that concealer in is where I put this powder. Like, I dust it off. I make sure I get like the excess off. And I press it into the skin. I do think I'm gonna have to go in with a little contour for my nose. Cause the bronzer, it doesn't look like it's just that dark. You're gonna instantly be able to tell a bronzer from a contour. Y'all had to close my mouth. Y'all see this? Y'all see like, come on, what y'all think? What do y'all what do y'all think it's looking like? Is it looking good or are you like sis? No, nah, we need you need to you need to do a little bit better setting it. Like are we coming together or are we coming together? So I'm going to do this because this is kind of like a starting point. This is the contour. This is why I say you could definitely tell contour from a bronzer is much darker and it's much cool toned. But I'm not gonna contour my whole nose. I always contour like right up in this area. So these brows are not done, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna do them. We're gonna do these brows, sis, because these brows need to be done. Because we have to do these brows. I'm gonna be washing these brushes after I get done with this video because these brushes definitely need be what? These brushes definitely need what, Brittany? These brushes definitely need to be washed. Girl, I swear, ever since I had brain surgery, I can't even get my words out correctly. It is so frustrating. And I remember not to get frustrated with myself because I can only do as much as my body can allow me to at certain I'll be fighting against the child. I'll be like, mm -hmm, we're gonna say it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna say it. So this is probably weird. But I'm using this felt tip eyeliner pencil by Wet n Wild in the shade dark brown as a brown pencil. So I've brushed my brows up and then I'm gonna do them. And I do my brows differently in everything, so I can't just say this is how I do my brows, but baby, we we know. We're not gonna be using that. We're just gonna use it for a tip. The, um, the end or whatever. Cause I don't have a beginning to my brows. Okay. 
they are a little long but i'm not worried about that i'm gonna clean up with some concealer but what i am going to do is take a black i need a black because you see yeah mm -mm. Yeah, that's better. Look at those. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. Coming together. They looking like brows. So before I, this is just what I do. This is what it is what I do. Before I get up under there and like get to messing with stuff, doing you like filling in these brows. See what I'm talking about? Like filling them in. I go ahead and conceal them because that just helps me stay into where I'm like working at. So I'm going to do that. What do you guys got planned for the summer? I'm trying to figure out like what we're gonna do for the summer. I don't know what to do. I feel like it's so much going on that I really just wanna stay home. I told you I was homebody. And, but then at the same time, I wanna take the kids somewhere. So I don't know. We're good and like I don't know, it's nearly impossible nowadays, but how to stay positive. Remain positive. Ooh, it's a good brow day, y'all. I wanna to speak too soon, but we may be having a good brow day. I would have a good bright day on camera. Like off camera, I'm recording my a makeup, a, a date night video for you guys because every time I do it on camera, my makeup comes out so good. When I do it off camera, I be looking like poop the poop poop. So yes, I'm gonna be recording a get ready with me date night video. So if you're interested when that video will be, it will be coming up on Friday, this Friday. Today is Wednesday. The 7th, June 7th, and that video will be up Friday. What time Friday? I don't know yet, but it will be up Friday. It's well, I for sure told y'all I'm gonna make myself do this. Now, don't please do not expect videos for me like five to six videos every week. I'm not that type of person. But I am gonna give you guys some consistent videos more than it like every two months. I'm, I'm gonna work on giving you guys a video every single week because it's just not fair that I give you guys just some, you know, mess. Hold on one second, I'm gonna get another um brush. A girl had to find out what I was trying to say. All right, so I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit. And now we're gonna go in with this brown. And we're gonna feel the rest of this browning. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Let's do that. <coughs> you okay, Stein? Yeah. Okay. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Are they, is it cute? It's a kick. Or is it like giving weird? 
I think it's kind of cute. Okay, now we gotta fix the, the part where I got this mic. I don't know, it doesn't look natural, so hold on. My two lines are ready for the day. Look, 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 look how perfect this one is, and look how crazy this one is. Yeah, right? See how we're doing? See, see, see for yourself. So I'm gonna take this one up a little bit and try to get rid of that harshness. Yeah, this is what you wanna say, I don't know. What you wanna call it? That's what I think it is. I mean, that looks a little bit better. What do you guys think? Comment down below, should I fix it? I know, by the time you guys comment, I know that I probably just, you know, but at least I'll know for the next video. Like, I've probably been definitely just warm the brow, but at least I'll know in the next video to have it fixed better. Y'all don't leave me wrong now. Have me looking like booka book, 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 which I don't know what that is, but to me, it is something. What do y'all what do y'all think? We good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we not good? Or you know, I just need to let it go. So I haven't even decided what um Lashes I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna go through this jar of lashes and find some lashes. But right now, I don't have any lashes to put on. This is not about the. Ooh. It's some about a warm nose. Okay. So I'm gonna go into this contour color and do my. Like, as just kind of like starting at least. I want to do on my next video, I want to do a colorful eye, uh, something with some color. That's why I was doing the browns and nude. I want to do color, I want to do color. Press this in. This is a mustard yellow. Yeah, that's a kick. For sure. This is mustard. It's a nice mustard yellow, but it's definitely mustard. Gotta go in this little. I don't want to say maroon. I don't know what shade this is, but it's going on my eyes. That's where it's going. This is. It's gonna work it so right into the shirt. Don't make it angry, but it's going on the eye. It's going on the eye. Back it in, back it in, back it on, back it on. Do the other eye i'll be right back all right so before i move on let me do this really quickly i like to use translucent powder to really like brighten up my eye on top of what i got going on i feel like it just makes the whole entire thing just be like really pretty 
in and it really just sets the under eyes and no it doesn't leave it cakey um and all that good stuff you're like wonder if it does look really good, like cakey and stuff it doesn't and um yeah i think i'm trying to think of anything else yeah it doesn't leave it cakey it has it whoa really really leave it really really nice um if you're wondering what i just did i just weighed translucent powder on my makeup um but i'm gonna clean up in just a second so i take quite a bit and i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna just like literally pat it in pat it pat it pat it pat it pat it pat it, pat it, pat it like this is like the thing that really like just sets my makeup off i feel like and i was out one no I, I had to my makeup one day oh that made me feel so good i'm telling you guys about the story time i had went out one day me and my husband we went to sincero's first to grab some food and then um a lady just kept looking at me and telling me she's like your makeup is like so pretty and i was like thank you so much i was like i'm a makeup artist she's like you're i'm telling you your makeup is so good i was like oh my gosh thank you and i did that technique that day and then after that we had kind of like went to a park went out of town went to a park and stuff and i think we went to the movies and stuff with the kids and a lady saw us in the park and she saw me in the park and she just stopped she was with her dog she was like holy you know i'm not gonna say what she said she was like she was like you you look like a, a filter and i'm like really because i've never like I, first of all you know me i don't think of myself that way and that was really really like crazy she's like you're so beautiful your your makeup looks like like a whole feel, like you're not like a walking filter and i literally did this i literally all after that girl i started doing this technique i would pack on the um translucent powder and literally just let it melt and that's what i did that day i just packed on translucent powder and i let it melt with um with my um powder that i just use yeah i'm sorry i am sitting here trying to figure out what i'm gonna how am i gonna get this powder off my hold on y'all i'll insert some clips i clicked up so i insert some clips of that day like how my makeup looked on camera but it didn't do it no justice in person like i feel like as a makeup artist my makeup looked better in person i'm still trying to figure out how to grasp that on camera y'all i'm sorry but that is the gosh honest truth the gosh honest so i literally just that's what i do and that's why i'm trying to figure out how to that's why i said i need, really need to work on my more of my social media like skills i'm not like that social person so i gotta work on it i have picked up this white eyeliner 50 times and i'm not looking for white y'all i'm looking for black eyeliner because i wanted to create a wing but it don't look like i'm gonna be able to create a wing for y'all and you know what's gonna happen i'm gonna get off camera i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna be like guess what i found so i might just do like a little white liner up on there but I guess I'm not gonna be able to find it. I am, however, using my lashes, girl. This is my a love story eyelash that I'm using. I have a jar of lashes. No, so if you ever hear me say I'm going to the jar of lashes, literally, when I wear my lashes, I place them in a jar and I reuse them. My lashes can be worn up to 25 times, but we're gonna just be talking about this one lash. But just giving you guys a little backstory. These are mink eyelashes, and this is what my lash look like. Mink hair lashes, and it gives you more like of that um, lash extension look. I'm trying to see. This is a pair that isn't mink. This is not mine, but I want to show you guys the difference. Like you see how thin the strip is, and you see how thin the lashes is. My lashes aren't like that. Even with my smaller lashes, the strip is thick and they're full. But look, my strip is really thick, so it's not gonna break easily. 
and these hairs girl they curl up like natural lash hairs these uh these are available on my website um they are my lashes sound like really fast so um i'm actually um getting ready to uh bring some more stuff in for you guys but um but these are available on my website if anything like sells out it'll go for pre-order you pre-order it and don't worry i keep a list of hey this has got to go out when this it so once the um my lashes get through in production or you know once it goes through like my, my packaging and all that stuff gets done and it goes through the test and it gets to me and then I go through it and then I sterilize everything and I look at it and I make sure and I do a count and then I put it back on the website as it's uh, not as pre-order where like you gonna actually order it but if you pre-order what will happen is that I'll help my website takes a list of the pre-order names so once the product goes into production it'll let you know how close up production is finished i'll personally also send you like an email let you know how production is going how close it is to being finished i'll also let you know once it ships out and starts coming to me i think and then it'll, i was gonna say i think that's pretty pretty awesome to do that for you guys and then um once it gets to me i'll let you know once it gets to me It'll take me about a, just a day, honestly, to go through everything and sterilize everything. And then I'll have it ready to ship out the next day. It'll get to you in two business days. Two. Two, two, two. I'm not, I'm not forgetting your order. I'm going, I'm going to ship it out. And if I have to call you, girl, please be out by the phone because I will call you. I'll call you and I'll be like, hey. Was this is what you order? Or well, I email you. If I can't, if y'all email you, you don't respond within 24 hours. I will, I'll, I'll message you. And if you, if you, I mean, like I'll send you a text. If you don't answer text, and I'll call you, I'll be like, hey, what, what was it that you ordered? So I can get it to you. Because it's through being in production. It's gotten to me. It's went through the sterilization, and I need to ship it out as soon as possible to you. So, and I and make sure that the lashes are like up to, and it's not, girl, they going back. They going back. I, I paid too much money for lashes to be half done. Like, I'm being honest. Um, on my newest packaging though, however, what I do want to bring you guys is, I know a lot of people ask me, well, how do you know like the left or the right lash? So I want to put on the packaging, just some little stickers, which I'm going to talk to my vendor about. It's giving you guys a right and a left, uh, so I can tell you which one's right and left. But if you're interested in purchasing my lashes, you can go to my website. This is my website, www.tntbeauty.com, and purchase you a pair of lashes, girl. I am having a 15% off for the month of June. So, girl, get into it, get into it, get into it. Now, what I just did with that lash? Did it fall? You know when you just had something and you know you just had it and it's just walk away. Okay. I know. Oh, here it goes. Child about to say I know that way. You should just walk off this disc. I just know it. Alright. Now the glue, I don't have my own personal glue yet, but the glue that I use is Lash Lock by Glad Girl. Girl. Amazon. Get it off of Amazon. This glue, like, is really good. Now, when I was crying, and I cried a couple of times, this, it didn't come off. It came off because, like, I was, um, like, waterfalls. Like, I was crying waterfalls. But it is really some really good glue. I want to find, like, a really good glue for my bras. That's my goal. A really good lash glue. Have you guys a really good lash glue? Until I create my own, let me know. And I'll get on that ASAP. So I can give my brides like the best clue. But until then, we're going to be using this lash lock. These are some very dramatic lashes, girl. Very dramatic. It's for the drama. The drama. The drama, 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 drama. drama.
All right, so y'all, this blush is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite blushes. Like majority of the time, I am wearing this blush. So if you see me wearing a blush, this is what I'm wearing. This is the Volume 2 Juvia's Place blush, and it is just bombs dots coms okay it's just bomb so i'm dusting this translucent powder out you just seen all that yeah that's translucent powder so you can see that it's kind of this part has melted skin you can see this is still sitting on the skin i'm not gonna bother that yet but i do take that lighter shade right here this light pink shade even though i'm a melanated girl and i do put this right in front of my eyes and i kind of just press it in this is what, the reason why is because I kind of want it to transition, be a nice, nice transition. Like I don't want it to be white and then go to pink. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be pink, a little light pink, and then it goes to the actual pink blush. It gives it a more better transition going into the skin. And I'm just telling you all, so if you never tried it, try it. Once you try it, let me know how you like it, if you've never done it. And just let me know if you're gonna add it to your um, makeup routine. So now I take my blush, my actual blush, and I'm using this shade, the darker shade. See, I'm hitting pan, the darker shade, and I put it on very, 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 very much. Oh, y'all got hair on my face. I'm looking at going to get a facial, but I'm very hairy. Very, very hairy. I don't know why, but I am. So now I'm gonna do this other side. I'm just gonna take the excess blush I used from the other side. Like this one. You see the difference? Between this side, it's starting to kind of like lift me up and this one just like, yeah. Don't worry, we're not done, but we're, gonna, we're getting there. And then girl, we're gonna get into this hair. We're gonna get into this hair sis. So I'm trying to debate if I'm gonna do a separate video for hair or do like everything in one video. I might do a separate video for hair cause I don't wanna give you guys too much in one video. But I am gonna show you guys the end result with my hair done at the end of this video. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of this. And this is just something I do. Like my last little bit is very, very important to me. And and I definitely already can tell that I need some contour. You're probably like how, but I can tell. But before I do that, I'm gonna use this Facial Prime Setting Rose Water Spray. I love rose water y'all like it's just like my go-to stuff i can get in it it being in a primer spray it's a plus for me and i make sure my face is saturated and my eyes stay closed i wish my fan was charged up but it's not so i'm gonna have to use my hands and just do make sure that it's dry mm -hmm. You can start to tell when your face is like completely dry. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll be back. I really can't see y'all, so hold on. All right, y'all. I'm back, still drying. The blush is like penetrating through. It's giving what it needs to give. I promise you it is. My eyes look a little bit closed to me. To me. To me. So. Gonna take a little white liner while my face is dry. Hey babe, can I have a um charger? Huh? Yeah. Ask Daddy, can he send me a charger? Send you a charger. Yes, please. Alright, y'all. I got so much going on. I really need to put some stuff up, but I will end up with my knot. So we're gonna finish out this um little makeup i'm gonna take this little sharp i don't know pencil not pencil brush <laughs> sharp brush 
and I'm gonna go up under here and kind of like create a little bit of a you know something to give my eye to work with because it's so dark I might have to end up using a contour shade But we'll see in just a second once I get through doing everything. I'm gonna go in with this contour. I'm gonna just kinda make everything a little darker. Just a little bit, not too much, cause too much, I'm gonna be looking crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take this for my nose. And we are going to test out a TikTok spray. I don't know the original person that came up with this. So if you guys know, please let me know. But I'm going to be test. I ordered this spray from Ulta. And we're going to test it out for today and see if it lasts. Like, if it works. They say it's really, really bomb. So, if you can guess what the spray is before I use it, comment down below. And leave your guesses. And how I know, how I know that you didn't watch the whole video and then guessed it is comment down below what time did you see? Like what time did you guess? And we're trying to, don't try to cheat now. Oh, I wish I could find my black liner. I want to do some um, moles. Man. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit more blush because, like, my blush is not blushing to me. To me. Add a little bit more blush. And then what I like to do is I like to take a little blush for the center of the nose because it gets washed out, too. Like, with all that makeup, it just loses its color. It doesn't look as, you know, crisp and as skin-like. So, I like to use the blush. Y'all, look how good my lip gloss has been on the whole video. I mean, it does have, like, a light sheen right now, but you can't say that it's not a good gloss me gonna be perfect for what I'm about to do my lips so let me just see what else oh highlight highlighter 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 and I like to double up on highlighter Because I feel like highlighter just sets everything off. Now, you may not be a highlighter girl, but girl, get into like, come on. Just, just, just get into it. I'm gonna spray my face again. These lashes are dramatic. Okay. And then we're going to do, oh, this combo. make it dry a little bit because if I don't let it dry it'll pull the makeup off out the skin so 
some Fenty Beauty. And this Fenty Beauty highlight, boy. On top of this, mm, has like a pink shade in it as well. And I use that to go right on top of my blush. Now I'm gonna take like a brush and blend it together. I really gotta get this hair off my face. It's given. All right, now I'm gonna add a little highlight right here, right above my brow bone, so that when the sun hits it, you know. All right. So this basically is the finished look, almost. If you guys want to see the complete finished look with my hair done, keep on watching. But thank you so much for watching my Get Ready With Me video. Um, I basically just did my makeup, but like I said, if you want to see my hair done, I am wearing my natural hair. Just keep on watching. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye. See you next time. Being loved and treated differently, yeah But something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're on completely different pages Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my